Good day everybody, Cory here with another PHP Runner tutorial. And today I'm going to highlight some of the new features in version 10.2. In case you don't have a copy yet, you may want to download the trial version of the software from xlinesoft.com. A link to the download page to be found in the description below. New Build Notifications In version 10.2, you are now notified when a new build is available. Notifications about the new build will appear on the bottom left corner of the application window. You can also click on the more link that will open up an article explaining the fixes for this update. Collapsible menu bar. Hide or collapse menu bar on the left. This feature is inspired by admin LTE template. I will also leave a link in the description below. It is however still possible to create a page without the left menu. This I will demonstrate in a moment. Smart caching of JavaScript and CSS files. CSS and JavaScript will be cached by the user's web browser. When you make changes to CSS or JavaScript, the user won't see those changes until they clear the browser cache. Now, in version 10.2, this will be taken care of automatically. More options related to additional pages. Now you have the option to choose which additional page to show in the dashboard. I have received many questions regarding additional pages in the dashboard. So I'm going to take a few minutes to demonstrate how to go about it in version 10.2. I have opened up a project and we are currently in the designer page. In this particular case I only have a list page. So let's continue and create an additional page. I'm going to click on the plus sign and from the pop-up that appears select list and click next. At this point we have the option to specify if the page must have a top menu or a left menu. I'm going to select top menu and click OK. We now have two identical list pages except for the first to have a left menu and the second a top menu. You can see the menu type here at the right of the screen. You will notice that list 1 has a top menu. I am now going to remove a few columns from both list pages to define a distinction between them. Now let's go back to the table view to create a dashboard. I'm going to leave the default and click OK. We are now at the dashboard layout screen. I have two list pages that I want to show on the dashboard, so I'm merging the areas into two sections only. On the top section, I click Add and select the Employees table. And I select the Data Grid radio button. Click OK. I am now going to do the same for the bottom section. Since there are two list pages, we now need to specify which list page to display where. I select the top section and click on Settings. At the list page settings, I select the first list page and click OK. I now repeat the process for the bottom section, but this time I select list 1 as the page. Ok, so let's observe what we have so far. Here you see the first list page with the collapsible left menu. If you need to see the second list page, you can reference it from the URL. You type question mark page equals list 1 and now the second list page displays. 
You can also add menu items, custom buttons or a redirect from the event code to this URL to open up the page. Also note that there is no left menu. Instead, we have a top menu as I specified it in Page Designer. Finally, let's see what the dashboard looks like. As you can see, we have the grid of both list pages showing different columns. Ok, so that is it for this tutorial. I trust that you are just as excited as I am about version 10.2. In the next tutorial, we will take a look into the new image options. In the meantime, please comment and don't hesitate to ask if anything was unclear. Till next time.